everyone, it's Hayley. I thought I would come on and give you a quick update. Last time I spoke to you was to let you know what happened at my scan and what the sonographer said. And I said I'd update you when I spoke to the fertility nurse. Um, today's Sunday. I spoke to the fertility nurse on Thursday. Excuse me. Um, and she was basically saying I could go on, back on Clomid. Um, everything in my scan looked okay. Um, but I had some news for her and some news for you guys in that on Thursday morning we found out that we we're expecting baby number two. So it actually worked. Um, at, well, coming off the Clomid actually worked. So we are pregnant and I just want to show you guys. You probably won't be able to see this. This is the very first test I took and it's the palest yeah, you, you might just be able to make out. That's the palest positive line ever. Um, and then I took another one today and happily the line has gotten a lot darker. So, we are expecting baby number two. And at the moment I am four weeks and two days. So it's really, really early days but I just wanted to let you guys know... I've been documenting this real time and I've been letting you know every step of the way so I wanted to let you know. I did debate not putting this video up because it is early days and touch wood nothing would go wrong but um, obviously I'm mindful that we're not out of the woods um, yet so I was thinking oh, maybe I shouldn't um, put anything up until we know everything's okay, but I really wanted to keep you guys in the loop and let you know what's going on. Um, really excited, obviously. Didn't expect it to happen at all, especially the month that we were off the Clomid. I think we must have just relaxed and it happened. Um, yeah, so I got my BFP. So, baby is due around the 27th of February. I'm going to make my first doctor's appointment for next week and from there they then refer you, they send off your scan appointment and refer you to the midwife. So I'll be doing all of that. Um, and at the moment, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably start doing some pregnancy vlogs um, from week five, so that'll be next Friday onwards. Um, I'll try and make it a weekly thing, but if there's not really a lot to update you on, I won't bore you with the same old, same old. I'll just kind of leave it until I've got something to update you on. But just to give you a quick kind of heads up, there's nothing going on at the moment. I think it's too early for sickness and everything. I'm not feeling any of that. Um, not majorly sore breasts or anything. Probably just a bit of pain, like if my son tramples all over me when he comes into our bed in the morning. Um, that hurts, but other than that, they're not generally sore. Um, I think the only thing I am feeling is quite tired. So when I'm at work, especially, I feel really, really tired after lunchtime. Um, so it's quite difficult for me to get from lunchtime to the end of the day. But apart from that. I'm not feeling anything at all at the moment. Um, oh, and a little bit of cramping, but I have that with my son, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, no no symptoms or anything. Like I say, I think it's a bit too early. It'll be another week or so before those start to kick in, I imagine. So um, I will update you all on that. Um, so yeah, these, fingers crossed all being well, these will now be pregnancy updates. Um... So yeah, I will, once I've had my first doctor's appointment and, you know, things are starting to happen and things like that, I will um, check in with you guys again. But like I said, I just really wanted to share the great news with you. I um, hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I'll come on and do a more detailed update um, on how things are going uh, when I've got more news for you. In the meantime, take care everybody and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye!